In this quick one, we'll go ahead and learn how to create a number dial animation like this in Rye. First of all, we'll go ahead and add a text layer and then type out all the digits one by one in new lines like this. And then I can go ahead and set a preferred size, in this case, 64, and then a preferred font as well. I'll go ahead and use this handjet font, which gives a cool numeric look. And we'll go ahead and set a custom line height. Now I can go ahead and set it to 70 like this. Again, depends on your preference. And then align it to the top of the artboard like this. Now you can go ahead and set the artboard's height as the line height, in this case 70. So let's go ahead and do just that. And then clip the other contents out. Now you can go ahead and make the artboard too tight. That is in this case, I can go ahead and set it to 26 like this, which is too packed. Or you can go ahead and space it a bit out as well. In this case, 36 like this, which I am choosing. Now we can go ahead and start with the animations. First of all, I will go ahead and add a timeline and then key in the position of the Y axis like this. And then I can go ahead and set the duration to one frame and then duplicate this animation. Let's go ahead and name it one. And this one will go ahead and translate it above with negative line height that is 70 like this and you can see one pops up now similarly you can go ahead and subtract the line height from the previous y value Now that we have got all the timelines with the position of the text keyed in respective to the number, we can go to our state machine, add a input, which would be the number. I'll go ahead and simply name it the same. And now inside of our layer, we can go ahead and use the any state to go to each state that is from zero to nine. So let's drag and drop each in. Create transition to each layer. And for the condition, we'll go ahead and use the number input. Set the transition duration to your liking and the curve as well. And now we can go ahead and for each transition set the number that is inside the condition. So for the one state, the number should be one. And similarly, edit each condition. Now we can go ahead and start the state machine. And if I go ahead and increase the number, you can see we are scrolling the text layer as well. And I can go ahead and enter any number, like let's say nine, it goes ahead and jumps to the same five, seven, and so on. So that's how we can go ahead and create an interactive number dial in Rive.